Nearly 100,000 people here in San Diego County are living with Alzheimer's disease, including my mom. And a promising national trial is taking place right here in San Diego and at more than 20 other sites across the country. It involves a new drug and doctors are looking for participants. Tonight, Dr. Stephanie Lessig, a neurologist at UC San Diego, and Dr. Gilbert Ho, neurologist at Pacific Center for Neurological Disease in Poway and Carlsbad are joining us in the studio tonight to talk about this clinical trial. Doctors, welcome. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank, Thank you. you. All right, tell us a little bit more about this Viva Mind study. What makes it so promising and what this new drug is all about? Dr. Leslie, why don't you start? So this is a unique drug. It's an oral medication for Alzheimer's disease. Alzheimer's brains have a protein called amyloid. This drug is an enzyme inhibitor that prevents the formation of amyloid. Is it the plaque that the we plaque often hear about? The plaque that we hear about, yes. Um, and that is thought to produce a lot of inflammation in the brain and it causes reduction in the the, the neurons talking to each other, the synapses, and so this allows that to happen. And uh, there have been some studies that say that amyloids plaque may not be the cause of Alzheimer's, but it's a combination. Sure, it's, a, it, it's thought to be a combination of two different proteins, both amyloid and tau seem to be the culprits. And so this drug is exciting because? Because it's, it's unique in, in where it is acting. Um, it's unique in that it is an oral medication as well. Um, I know you're looking for participants, and which is really crucial, of course, for a clinical trial. Who might qualify and what will they have to do in this study, Dr. Ho? So um, individuals that have early Alzheimer's disease, uh, that would include a state called mild cognitive impairment um, before there are functional uh, impairments, uh, would also qualify. Um, they can be uh, up to um, 85. Okay. Um, in age, um, and uh, what they would have to do is uh, they would come in and be evaluated, um, and we would do some tests on them, pencil and paper tests and other things, and we would find out if they qualify or not uh, uh, on site and uh, let them know. If they could take this oral drug. If they could take this oral drug. I understand there are three clinical sites here in San Diego. Dr. Lessig, where are they located? Yes, so one's at UCSD, sort of in, in Midtown. Um, we have Dr. Ho's site in, located in North County. And then there's a site in South County, um, which uh, can take on Spanish-speaking patients. Um, that's a very uh, big focus of recruitment, actually, is for the Hispanic population as well as, as any underrepresented minorities. Uh, people might be wondering more about this drug. Let's talk about it, veroglutamstat, and what makes it different than drugs in other Alzheimer's clinical trials? So um, other Alzheimer's drugs have focused on trying to remove this amyloid from the plaques. Okay. Um, but this one is different in that it blocks an enzyme, uh, glutamyl cyclase, that converts amyloid into much worse, much more toxic amyloid. And so it's only that subset. Um, and it actually then has multiple targets then. It also uh, attacks uh, inflammation in the brain, which is a key component of Alzheimer's disease, as well as the plaques, uh, potentially even the, the, the tau and the tangles that were mentioned. Um, so there's multiple uh, sites. And of course, this makes it important. And it's a fast track through the FDA. You were saying the FDA fast tracked this drug because of its potential impact? Because it's, it's different than those others and potentially has uh, more of a chance of possibly succeeding, um, being the first oral agent to do this kind of thing. The first oral drug to potentially change the course of this disease. That's correct. My mom is on denepazil, which has been around for a long time. That is an oral medication, but it doesn't change the course of the disease, it just slows it, is that right? Correct, and, and to a modest degree. Okay, yeah, I think she is past the uh, mild cognitive state at this point, but it's so uh, reassuring to me that continuous trials are happening to hopefully help the next generation and people who aren't as far along. Are you optimistic about continuing research and, and the new things that you're learning about Alzheimer's disease? It's affecting more and more people as our population gets older. Absolutely, I think it's a great time to be in Alzheimer's research. I think there's a lot of different angles that are being taken to look for different potential cures. Thank you so much, Dr. Lessig, Dr. Ho, for joining us for this conversation. Um, if you would like to learn more about the Viva Mind Alzheimer's clinical trial, visit their website at viva-mind.org or call 844-234 7500. Again, there are three clinical sites here in San Diego County, including UC San Diego, and we hope that this may, you know, help you and your families. Thanks again for joining us. Thank you. Thank you.